Hello, this is Miss Brown, and today we start our study of the worm group, and you have a chart to fill in, and we'll do a different group on each screencast, and remember, you can stop this to fill in. So let's start with the flatworms. They are in phylum platyhelminthes, and plat means flat, like plateau, so that'll help you remember that. Their distinctive trait is they have a flat, ribbon-like body. Uh, we got, we're stepping up here from our other studies, our milestone of development, we have bilateral symmetry, we're at the organ level, we're going to see organs, and we have cephalization, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Okay, three body layers, like you, you have three body layers, ectoderm, mesoderm, and the endoderm. Okay, symmetry, it is what we call bilateral, the two sides are mirror images, just like the mammals. Um. Uh, and this is a sign of a higher order uh, organism, more organized. Okay, body cavity, we're still, still what we call acelomate in this group. A means without. So all the body construction is all compacted together on the inside. There is no separate coelom. There are no body cavities. Everything's just packed in together. All right, cephalization is present. They have a definite head end, and they have a brain and sense organs. All right, nervous system, it has a very simple brain. That's in quotation marks. It's nothing like what you might think of as what you may have. But it does have some nervous tissue there and two longitudinal nerve cords with transverse nerves. All right, movement, it has very simple mu muscles. It has a twisting type of movement. And body openings, we still just have one. It's on the ventral side, which is the bottom side. Food comes in and wastes go out there. All right, digestion. Again, we have the sac-like gut, but it can be subdivided in some groups. All right, uh, respiration. There are no lungs. It actually just diffuses through the body wall, brings in oxygen, and sends out CO2 and extra water just through the body wall. And circula uh, circulation is the same way. It's just diffusion. There are no vessels for blood. Asexual reproduction, it does regenerate. And uh, for sexual reproduction, they are hermaphrodites. And they produce sperm and egg, and they cross-fertilize. And they will not produce sperm and egg at the same time. We've talked about that before. They just produce one at a time so they don't cross-fertilize. Excuse me, so they don't self-fertilize. All right, body covering, it has a cuticle, uh, kind of like the cuticle on your around your nails protects your nails from things getting down in between the nail and the skin. This cuticle protects the entire body from being digested uh, because if you're eating and you get digested, uh, you can't really live, right? You would die. And a free living one is the planaria, and it lives in fresh water. And then the parasites, they are endoparasites, which means they're inside the body. And there is the tapeworm and the flukes. And we'll be having some videos about some of these things a little later. Thank you.